In this video, we're going to set up a simple automation that plays an audio file based on the state of a switch in Home Assistant. So stick around because we're about to automate some boring stuff. What's up everyone? My name is Jeff and this is Slacker Labs, where we look for ways to automate the boring stuff using Home Assistant and Smart Home Tech. This week, we're going to build a simple siren automation in Home Assistant but this automation is technically multi-purpose. The use case for this could change based on the audio file you use in this automation. Security alarms and door chimes are good uses for an automation like this. And since this automation is tied to a switch, you could use this automation anywhere that you could turn on a switch. Or you could just use the switch as a kill switch, which is kind of important if you're going to be using this as a security alarm. In this video, I'm going to build a tornado siren, since where I live, we occasionally get tornadoes. But like I said, you could use any audio file for this automation. You could even use a YouTube URL if you wanted your audio source to be a video on YouTube. To complete this automation, we're going to need a few things. The first thing, of course, is an audio file or a YouTube URL. For this example, I downloaded a tornado alarm MP3 off of the web. And we're going to need a media player in Home Assistant capable of playing a media file. Echoes are not going to work here, so you're going to need a Sonos, Chromecast, Google Home, TV, or something like that. But if you can integrate it into Home Assistant as a media player, it should work to satisfy this requirement. If you have a spare Chromecast laying around, you could get one of these HDMI converters and connect it to a speaker using a 3.5mm audio cable. The rest of what we need for this automation, we can fabricate in Home Assistant. The first thing is we need to get our audio file onto our instance of Home Assistant. And the way we're going to do that depends on how you've set up Home Assistant. You really have two options here. You can use the built-in media folder, which if you're using SSL and you have a publicly accessible URL, works pretty well. If you're not using SSL, I have never gotten this to work on a local network. But in that case, you can use the www folder as well. To add this to the media folder, you're going to need the Samba Share add-on or some way to add your files over the network to Home Assistant. If you want to set up the Samba Share and you haven't done so already, check out my video on accessing YAML files, where I walk through setting up Samba. You'll want to copy your audio file to the media folder. After that, you should be able to click Media in the left menu of Home Assistant and see your file. If you don't see your file, you may need to enable the media folder in your configuration.yaml. To do so, just add default config or media underscore source colon to your configuration.yaml and restart. Now, if you're running completely local, the www folder might be the easier option. To add the file to this folder, you can use the file editor add-on, which of course, if you don't already have it installed, I included steps to install that one as well in the video on accessing YAML files. To add your file to the www folder, just navigate to File Editor, then click the www folder, then you want to click Upload File. If you put anything in this www folder, you're going to need to restart Home Assistant so that Home Assistant is aware that it's there. Otherwise, you're going to get a file not found error until you do restart. Now we just need to build the automation piece. For automations like this, I like to use a toggle helper as my trigger. It provides an easy way to play the audio file with the push of a button, and maybe more importantly, an easier, fast way to kill this audio file when we don't want to hear it anymore. So for that, head to Configuration, Helpers, and then click Add Helper. Choose Toggle, and for the name of this one, I'm going to call it Tornado Alarm. Then click Create. What this does is create an input boolean Tornado Alarm Entity and we'll use this as our trigger for our automation. Now, to keep this simple, I'm going to do all of this in a single automation. So I called this one Tornado Alarm. And mode here is restart, so that if this automation is running when the toggle is flipped, it will restart the automation. Trigger is going to be the state change of our toggle helper. So trigger type is state. Entity is the input boolean or toggle helper we created. Leave everything else blank here. We want this to trigger on every state change. Next, drop down to Actions. Here, we're going to use the Choose action. And for option one, we're going to set our condition type to State. 
into DID to our input Boolean, and the state is going to be on. This means when this automation is triggered, if the input Boolean is on, then this is the path the automation will take. So for our action, we're going to call the media player play media service. For target, click pick entity and choose your media player. You could choose multiple here, but they don't always play in sync in my setup, so it's usually more annoying than it's worth for me. Content ID is the URL to the file. If you're using the media folder, the path will be slash media slash the name of your file. If you're using the www folder, the URL will be http colon slash slash the DNS name or IP colon 8123 of your Home Assistant instance slash local slash the name of your file. The path here could be to a server on your local network as well if you have a server sharing audio files. This content ID just has to be a URL and content type will be music. For option two, we need to handle the off state of our entity. So for the condition type, we'll once again use state. Entity ID is of course our helper that we created earlier. And for state, this one is off. This will be the actions that this automation does each time the switch is turned off. For actions here, we're going to call the media player media stop service. And for target, we'll use the pick entity picker again and choose our media player. Now we have a single automation that will handle each state of our toggle helper. Now save and you should be able to test your new siren. I added my toggle to Lovelace to make it easy to find. And now when we turn it on, we get... And there it is. You could use this automation as a security alarm that goes off anytime motion is detected when you're not home. Or you could simply play a theme song every time you return home. Because everyone wants a theme song to play when they return home, right? No? Just, just me? Anyway, since this automation is triggered based on a switch, you could simply drop an action in any existing automation to turn this siren on like I did in this automation to announce a tornado warning. If you want to use YouTube as your audio source though, you're going to have to do things a bit different. For that, you're going to need the Media Extractor integration enabled if you haven't already done that. To do that, open your configuration.yaml and just add a line that says media underscore extractor colon and then save your configuration.yaml. Any changes to your configuration.yaml require a restart, but once you've got Home Assistant back up, you can continue on building your automation. In this automation, I'm using a different input boolean just to keep things separate in this example, but the pattern is the same. We're going to trigger anytime there's a state change, and then we're going to use the choose action to determine which path this automation takes based on the state of our helper. When the input boolean is on, we're going to call the media extractor play media service. Set the entity ID we want to play the audio on, and in the service data, unfortunately, we have to YAML it. Media content type is video slash YouTube, and media content ID is the URL to our YouTube video that we want to play. And now, when we turn on our input Boolean, we get YouTube audio on our speaker. That's all the time we have for this video. If you found this video useful, hit that like button, and consider subscribing to my channel for more home assistant and home automation content like this. As always, thanks for taking time out of your home automation projects to watch mine. Until next time, go automate the boring stuff.